Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Welcome back to another video. Um, today is going to be another random unboxing of stuff that I had in storage. You can see there's the storage tote that I'm going to open. If you followed along yesterday, you know that I showed off some of my digi books and media books and I ran out of battery, so I had to end it abruptly. I do have a little stack here that I'm going to go through and we're going to finish up the media books. And then I believe in this tote here are some... There's a little sneak peek. Just some of the uh, box sets that I have that are horror mostly. I think those are mostly all horror in there, but let's jump right into this here. Uh, the first run is uh, Bootgerite's Necromantic. And this was put out by a company called Target. It's a Target Productions. It's a, this is a German media book, limited to 1,000. It doesn't have an individual number on there but it does have a bunch of extras this is a film from 1987 it was released in 2014 by this uh, target productions company in germany and this is more of a collector piece for me because uh, to be honest i'm not really a fan of this type of film although i do have this movie probably three or four times in my collection it's more for a collector purpose and this is going to remain sealed I'm just not into the uh, you know sex with dead it, it just grosses me out so that is necromantic the second one here is called the Antichrist and this is a film from the 70s and it's a religion exorcism type film devil worship this is the Blu-ray DVD combo from a company called Classics Illusions, another German company. And with this one, you get a 23-page booklet. And this one was put out in 2013 by Classics Illusions, but the film itself came out in the 70s. I can't remember when, but I believe it was early to mid-70s. The next one is one of my favorites, and this is a really nice edition. This is the four-disc edition of Dario Argento's Suspiria by 84 Entertainment. This one was limited to 4,350, and I have number 4212. Um, easily one of Argento's best, if not his very best film, in my opinion. Um, not really excited that they're making a a remake of this film this is a classic this one should never be touched but we'll see I'll, I'll definitely watch it I'll check it out but this is a really really good addition here you get um, I believe it is a blu-ray um, two DVDs and you get the compact disc of the soundtrack from the film and you get a bunch of extras on here so if you guys uh, get a chance to pick this one up for a good price I would say scoop it up add that one to your collection that is a really really nice edition of Suspiria my favorite Argento film next one here is a Fulci film called Nightmare Concert this one was put up by XT video and it was limited to 999 pieces and I have number 320 one of Argento's last films it was from 1990 this was put out in 2014 by XT Video. Um, as far as uh, companies go in Germany for hard boxes and media books, I think XT Video is probably my second favorite behind 84 Entertainment. But they're very close. Um, they're both very good quality companies. So if you guys get a chance to find any 84 Entertainment or XT Video, pick some of those up they're very collectible very very good quality the next one here is the three disc limited collector's edition of bride of reanimator you get two blu-rays and a dvd and you get a couple of different editions of the film you get the unrated and the r-rated editions of the film plus you get the nice collectible booklet i believe it is a 22 page book and you get a bunch of special features. The only thing is I'm not sure if the special features are in German or if they have subtitles. But this is from a company called Cape Light and they also did the original Reanimator which I also own and I love that cover. These are really nice additions. If you guys can pick these up 
If you can find them for a good price, I would say scoop them up. They're really, really nice additions. The next one is the Beyond, and this is the Iban, Iban edition. I never really knew how to pronounce that. E-I-B-O-N. I believe it is Iban. Um, this was put out in 2014 by XT Video, and it was limited to 2,000. I got number 1413. But this is a, it's meant to look like it's the Book of the Dead. And it has like a nice leathery, kind of a padded, old-time book feel to it. It's meant to look like it's worn and like it's been used quite a bit. It's really nice. That is the Beyond. The next one is The House by the Cemetery, another Fulci film. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo, limited edition. XT Video did a great job with this one again as well. They released this in 2013. This is cover B for those of you who are interested. I love that cover. And I got number 411 out of 1,000. So that is the house by the cemetery. The next one is a muck train, uncut, limited collector's edition. This was put out by a company called Shock DVD. And it's limited to 500. I'm not sure what number I have, and it's cover B. But this is a pretty good little film, a little forgotten film from the, I believe it's the early 80s. Let's see if it says on the back. Um, it just says that it was released by this company in 2014, but I would have to double check the year. I think it was the early 80s, but I could be off on that one. The next one is probably one of, well, it's got to be in my top two or three Fulci films. This is the New York Ripper, another XT video, Blu-ray DVD combo, limited edition. This one is very limited. Um, I got number 227 out of 500. This one was released by XT in 2012. Really, really enjoy this movie, and I'm glad to have this in my collection. The next one is another Giallo. This is the house with the laughing windows, or the house of the laughing windows, rather. Um, this one was put out by 84 Entertainment in conjunction with CMV Laser Vision. And this one was limited to 777. I got number 556. Very, very good giallo. Underrated, I think. If you get a chance to get the house with the laughing windows. I can't remember if, if it's the house with the laughing windows or the house of the laughing windows. But uh, search both of those titles and you'll figure it out. Next one is, is another Dario Argento film. This is Inferno. And this is a pretty thick media book here. And it's the DVD Blu-ray combo by Cook Media. And this is a really nice addition here. Next one here is another Fulci film. This one is called The Psychic. And this is the three disc limited edition from 84 Entertainment. It's limited to 2,000 pieces. I got 1,280. And it is Region B, Region 2. So um, this is a film that came out originally in 1977. And this was put out by um, 84 Entertainment in 2014. That's The Psychic. And another Dario Argento film. This is The Stendhal Syndrome. This is from X-Rated. That's the name of the company. I believe it used to be called X-Rated Cult Media. Now they're just going by X-Rated, I think. This is the two-disc edition. Blu-ray DVD combo. It is Region B, Region 2. And um, this was put out by this company in 2010. So I believe this is out of print, probably hard to find now. Starring his daughter, Asia Argento. Another Argento film here from XT Video is Phenomena. This is the uncut collector's edition. I like the way this looks. I like the white. We don't really see too many white media books. Um, this came out in 2011 by XT Video. This is one of Jennifer Connelly's earliest films, I believe. This is like her second or third film. And uh, I think she was 15 in this film. She was a babe already at that age. 
That is uh, Argento's Phenomena. The next one here is a Jim Van Beber film. This is the three disc ultimate uncut edition called The Manson Family. This is limited to 1500 and I'm not sure what number I have. It doesn't show, but um, this is the full uncut edition. It has 10 extra minutes in the film. This is region B, region two, Blu-ray DVD combo. I talked to Jim Van Beber personally about this film. I told him I really liked this edition, and he told me this is a bootleg, and he told me a lot of the editions that the Germans put out do not have permission, especially if it's um, an American director. They just release whatever they want to release, and they don't get permission. So he said this was definitely not um, given his okay. So... Just be aware of that, guys, when you're ordering stuff from, like, China and Nova Media and uh, a lot of these media books and hard boxes do not have permission to release their stuff, but they just don't care. They just do it. And finally, the last one I have for my digibooks slash media books is Clive Barker's Hellraiser 4 Bloodline, three-disc limited edition from 84 Entertainment, limited to 999. This is number 685. And um, I think this is when the Hellraiser series started to go downhill. <laughs> um, the first three were pretty decent, and I think with the start of this one, it started to go downhill. I'm going to take a break for a second, guys, and then we're going to get into this tote here. Okay, it seems like we're doing pretty good time-wise. It's less than 12 minutes, so I'm going to see if I can go through this one pretty quick here, this box, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. First one here in front of you is the Sleepaway Camp Survival Kit. This one was the recalled edition because it had the red cross on the cover. And they didn't want people to think that this was actually a, a first aid kit, um, which is crazy to me, but uh, whatever. This was a set put out by Anchor Bay. Um, I bought this when it first came out before it went out of print at Best Buy. And they, had, they included a little bit of footage from part four in here, which was called the Survivor, which they didn't end up making. And then they ended up making a different fourth film in the series. But you get the three DVDs, you get a little booklet, and some other little trinkets that come with it. Um, here is the, the fourth disc. I put it in kind of like this little padded sleeve. That was that little bit of footage that they had for part four. And then you get a little booklet here. And it just slides into this little first aid kit. I'm sure many of you have seen this a million times. I will put that together off camera. It's harder to do this stuff with one hand. So in, instead of possibly damaging the case, I'm going to just put that off to the side. The next one here is the Halloween 30th anniversary commemora commemorative set that came with this little latex bust of Michael Myers. This one also I bought when it first came out. Never opened it because I didn't need it. I had other ways of viewing this film. I just bought this for a collector's piece and this was limited to 20,000. I got number 8,139. This one is going for a King's Ransom now. It's very, very expensive. I think it's over 100 bucks and I think I paid probably around 25 to 30 when it first came out. And I have a lot of DVDs like that in my collection that I pick stuff up when it first comes out. Now they're out of print and uh, the next one here is one that I picked up. I think I picked this up at FYE. This is a little tin called Fright Fest. It's called Nightmare in a Box. Yeah, let's bring this up a little closer. It has a bonus CD soundtrack called Sounds of Horror. And then it has like a little digi pack on the inside of the tin. It opens up and... You get, let's see if it has the films on the back. The 10 films you get are Horror Hotel, The Last Man on Earth, Dementia 13, The Terror, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, House on Haunted Hill, Night of the Living Dead, The Original, Nightmare Castle, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Nosferatu. You get trivia, biographies, bloopers, newsreels, movie posters. It's a, a little set that has five discs, and it's mostly stuff that's um, uh, public domain. And usually when you get box sets like this, the quality is not the greatest. But it's a nice little collector's tin. I've got another one here called Death Scream. Silence is next. Made to look like a, a tombstone or a headstone of a grave. And again, this comes in kind of like a digi pack. And it's 
just a cardboard fold-out. And again, it's probably mostly public domain stuff, but it's a five-disc set. And you get Good Against Evil, Don't Look in the Basement, Blood Tide, Death Screams, and Legacy of Blood. And this is a little set that was put out in 2009 by a company called Total Eclipse. So that is Death Scream. The next one here is a set that was limited to 10,000, but I swear everybody in the country has this set. So, I mean, I don't know if it was limited to 10,000 or 10 million, but I swear everybody has this set. But it is a very good set. And this is the Blue Underground edition of the Blind Dead collection. You get Tombs of the Blind Dead, Return of the Evil Dead, The Ghost Galleon, Night of the Seagulls, and you get a bonus disc with um, footage from the director, Amando de Asario. And these are all in anamorphic widescreen. They're all unrated. They're all Region 1 DVDs. And this came out in 2005. And originally this set, um, I believe the first one came out in 1973. And of course you get the, the movies. And then there's the little slim case with footage of the director. I'm not sure if it's just documentaries, interviews, stuff like that. I can't remember. But I do remember liking these these movies. So The next one here is a set. And I'm just pulling randomly from this box. So there's no order to any of this. But these are called Films to Die For After Dark Horror Fest. And this is the set that has Unrest, Reincarnation, The Grave Dancers, The Hamiltons, Wicked Little Things, Dark Ride, and Penny Dreadful. And they all came with a slip cover on the DVDs. And I thought these were always pretty decent sets. You know, I have a couple different sets of these and I, I really enjoy these. So there you can see the, the spines for all of the films. Let's see here. The next one is another tin. This one's from Troma. This was the original where it had the little puffy eye that you can kind of squish the blood there. These were re-released without that puffy eye. And these tins are very hard to keep in mint condition. They're, they're very cheap, thin tin, and they dent very easily. But um, just quickly, the titles that come in this box are Horror of the Hungry, Humongous, Hungen, Beyond Evil, Evil Clutch, Nightmare Weekend, Mommy's Epitaph, Play Dead, Death by Dialogue, Nightfall, Chillers, Scream Baby Scream. And these were all put out by Troma. And they all came in these slim cases. I'm not going to pull them out, but... These are nice little additions to pick up. And uh, I know when these first went out of print with the little puffy eye with the blood in there, they were going for pretty good money. And then Troy, Troy, uh, Troy um, Lloyd Kaufman re-released these, and I think the price is pretty reasonable now. You can pick those up pretty cheap. And I have another one here. This is the Toxies Top 10, and this one came with the little puffy green goo in the middle to look like some kind of radiation or some kind of uh, toxic goo. And the films you get in this set are Croaked, Frog Monster from Hell, Curse of the Cannibal Confederates, Dead Dudes in the House, Deadly Daphne's Revenge, Demented Death Farm Massacre, Fertilize the Blaspheming Bombshell, The Newly Deads, P Space Zombie Bingo, Steph Stephanie in the Incinerator, and Video Demons Do Psycho Town. This was another set that came out in 2005. And again, it just has all of those little slim cases in there. So that is the Toxies Top 10 and the Blood Bank. The next one here is the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. And this has all the way up to eight. Let me see. It goes all the way up to seven, Freddy's New Nightmare. You get Nightmare on Elm Street, um, Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, Part 3, Dream Warriors, Part 4, Dream Master, Part 5, Dream Child, and Part 6, The Final Nightmare, Part 7, 
Wes Craven's New Nightmare. And then I think that last disc is kind of just like a bonus features disc. That's a good set to have. I do have that on Blu-ray now, so I just don't like to get rid of stuff. I collect and collect. Here's one I picked up at Barnes & Noble on one of their 50% off sales, and plus I got an extra 10% off of that 20 bucks. I got this for almost nothing. This is called Paranormal State Season 1, a show from A&E, and it's a three-disc set of uh, just paranormal uh, ghost hunters, stuff like that. Haven't even opened this one up yet, but the next one here is a box set from Troma called 30 Years of Real Independence. This is the limited edition collector's box set of Class of Newcomb High, parts one, two, and three, the complete spillology. Nice little box set here with all three DVDs. And who doesn't enjoy Troma every now and again? You got to be in the mood for Troma, though. Just kind of a silly silliness. Uh, here's Elvira's Box of Horror. Includes six classic horror films. This is a Time Life video box set. And the six films you get are House on Haunted Hill, The Little Shop of Horrors, the original, Dementia 13, Night of the Living Dead, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and Carnival of Souls. Those are all films that are public domain, and you're going to see those a million times on different box sets. Next one here is another little tin called Bloodfest, Rest in Pieces. And it's embossed and it has a little um, lenticular eye that looks like it's blinking. And the six films, or the five films rather, that you get in this set are The Thirsty Dead, Sisters of Death, House by the Cemetery, Bloody Wednesday, and The Hatchet Murders, which is also known as Deep Red. Dario Argento, and then it just comes in this little digi pack here on the inside. I'm not really going to open these up and go through them all. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, I guess. Here's one of my favorite box sets. I picked this one up years ago, and uh, it's still a very, very good set. This is an Anchor Bay edition of the Ultimate Edition Dawn of the Dead. I know a lot of you guys picked this up when it first came out. Um, let's see if it says on the back. Well, the film is from 78, we know that, but I'm trying to find out when this was released by Anchor Bay. Uh, 2004, so it's been out for 13 years already. But this is a very, very nice edition by Anchor Bay. It comes with this book. I think there's also a poster or another book. And then you get the U.S. theatrical version extended version the european version and the documentaries are on a separate disc which is really cool so anchor bay when they put this one out they were still the they were the chief i think aero video has taken that title over by now but anchor bay was they used to rule supreme and this was one of their best editions at the time dawn of the dead ultimate edition couple more here, guys, and then we're going to wrap this up. These are not all of my box sets, by the way. These are just some. Here is a series called Masters of Horror Season 1, and I wish that little cardboard slip wouldn't have got caught in that tooth. This is a little skull edition. This is Season 2. And the episodes, this was put out by Anchor Bay. Uh, episodes from this season of Season 2 were The Black Cat, The Damn Thing, Dream Cruise, Pelts, Pro-Life, Family, Right to Die, the Screw Fly Solution, Sounds Like, The V Word, Valerie on the Stairs, The Washingtonians, We All Scream for Ice Cream, and you get a bunch of bonus features. And I'm not going to pull this out of the case, but the top of the skull comes off and it houses all the discs in there. So, it's a nice little addition. I know that's long out of print now, and it's going for some pretty good money. And here is Season 1 of that same series. Masters of Horror Season 1. My box here is kind of falling apart, but you can see all the directors on the side there that have contributed, some, some big name directors here, who have contributed to the box set, and it's another Anchor Bay edition. And this is supposed to look like a mausoleum, this little set here. And when you take the top off, it houses all the discs on the inside of the mausoleum. And you get, uh, for the episodes, Chocolate, Cigarette Burns, Dance with the Dead, Dear Woman. 
That's deer as in animal, the animal deer, D-E-E-R. Dreams in the Witch House, The Fair-Haired Child, Heckle's Tale, Homecoming, Imprint, Incident on and off a mountain road, which is very, very good. It's kind of a like a, a wrong turn type of inbred guys um, in the in the deep in the woods. So I, I recommend checking that one out. Jennifer, pick me up and sick girl, and it has a bunch of bonus features there. And the last three are the show Millennium. Starring Lance Henriksen and Chris Carter production, who created the X-Files. This is the complete first season. I remember really liking this show. They came in these thin, thin discs here, the thin cases. And this is the six-disc collector's edition of the complete first season. The complete second season. And sorry about that shaky cam there at the end. I try not to do that to you guys. And then the third season. So that is all for this box. If you guys like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Always enjoy hearing from you guys. And if you'd like to see more, comment below. That's it for today, guys. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.